All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back. Let's uh, let's deal with these cargo problems first before we go speak to the governors of the other colonies. Of course, we all had to colonize this all island together. <laughs> Ooh, a blacksmith. The best forge in Greetings, sir. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. I very much if you're do. you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. Good. All right, uh, let's buy, see what he has. Nothing I can wield just yet. Ooh. Or perhaps I was incorrect. I was a little incorrect. Old rusted saber. I want a sword. But we'll just have to wait for a little bit. Whoa, what? Oh. Oh, he just sells melee weapons. Okay. The best right. forge in tier for a day. Hello. Blades, armor, love... Can you help me? Pieces, you a native merchant? Bertir to mad, oh no, Menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Yeah. Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. Perhaps. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Coin Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please. I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adloredar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Why, thank you. Um, we'll hit the ta hit not the tavern, the uh, the docks first since we're already close. Or close-ish. What's down here? Anything to loot? Yeet. Hello. I'm just standing there. Are you... Sir! How dare you? And through your pants, no less. <laughs> All right, down here. All right, let's change clothes right in the middle of public. Glad we didn't sell this. Do 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 do. Yo ho, mates. Are we in the right place? Seems like it upstairs. No. These aren't the right crates. I love how they just let the companions through. No, these aren't the right crates. No, these aren't the right crates. I need a bit of practice. What did that say I needed? Jump. Vigor. Okay. Oh, there was a ladder right there. Hold, 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 hold the phone. All 
All right, let's just uh, travel around. Greetings, sir. Here are the crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. Oh, it's wow. full of weapons. That doesn't seem right. It is our clients that supply us weapons on Tier 3D. You didn't know what was in the crates? No. I don't Guns. concern myself with the commander's business. I should take a look into this. I have some friends here that must know what this is all about. Let me know what you discover. Now, let's mark these crates and get going. No, these aren't the right Wait, crates. Okay, so did I have to just mark that one specifically? Or did it already do it? No, it didn't. Okay. Nope, that is not what I meant to do. Just paint a white mark over it. Oh my god. Alright. Just fuck it. Out the door. Out the back door. Did I miss anything to loot? Yes, I did. Hello. Into my pockets. magic potion as well and while I'm at it I will just no I don't need to yeet myself over that but I will yeet myself over this hello fellow knots all right espionage well done to the commander, which I probably took the wrong way around again, but it happens. Oh, shit. Hello, your excellency. We Hello. found a way into the storehouse, and we marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help, and I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. Okay. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted. And one of them has even been found dead. Ooh. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. Count on me. I'll take care of it. Alright, uh... I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. 
Is there anything else? No, there is not. I mean, you guys can no, tell him about you. it and tell him where to go to get one. He he speaks English. Okay, so we got multiple things on the uh, question merchant. How many merchants are there? About three. Oh, one of the blacksmiths, or the blacksmith is one. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the forge. What can I do for you? Uh, answer a few questions, if you would. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? Uh, no, not at all. I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business. And my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? Okay, what about the guy I dead? that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen, nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. He's terrified. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I'm not going to say one more word about this case. All right. The law of silence. Fish, you like a glove. We'll nobody make it for anything. you. Nobody knows anything. Shit, I got stuck on the thing again. Well, there's a merchant right Oh, Come close. Madam, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tierfredi. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I'm here for info, my good man. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't, really. I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game. I am conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I am the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. You're you sure? obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right, fine. Last one. And if it's who I think it is, he has the biggest shop, so he oh, might want to speak to us. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Yes, your brain, for you have information. I am conducting an investigation. Apparently some merchants are being extorted by some members of the guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. Mm -hmm. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. 
I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very monitored. Understood. I can help you and put that gun away, please. <laughs> I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. Are you not tired of giving them a share of your profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? Poor Renault. He didn't deserve it. Perhaps you're right, and we need to act. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. All Fear right. not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... In two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Okay. Uh, leave. Wait two days. Come closer, good people. The One day and 23 hours. Lovely. Your Excellency, it is an honor. Yeah, saw this over here. When we passed it the first time. Little campfire. Lock picking level three. Definitely can't open that if I can't open level one. Your accommodations. As a diplomat, uh, an accommodation is available for you in main cities of different nations. There are crafting tables, storage chests, companions. Oh, they just show up there. Okay. And you can rest and travel. Uh, why? Because guns, gun, guns hurt things. Hey, Vasco. Let's go to sleep for 48 hours. Wait, wait, fuck. How long did it say? How long am I waiting? A day and 12 hours. Twelve hours and twelve minutes. Uh, was that fourteen hours? Alright. Go back to see the merchant. Bye, Vasco. Don't eat all my food. Even though there's no, there's no semblance of a kitchen in there at all. I suppose we just order in from the tavern or something. Wait, did I pass it? I passed it. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. And how did it go? Anything to your liking? What might I help you with? How did the meeting go? So, did they take the bait? Yes, Your Excellency. And I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Okay. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Uh, hide right over here. I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. 
We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss, and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? I guess you just want to die right here and now. Oh, didn't even see him. There we go. Are we, uh, am I looting him? Oh. I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade and my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin. And this is the first time they told me his name. If they let it escape, it was only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. You'll find all you need You can't call that a murder spree. You need to be the talk of all Search the extortionists. Okay. I was literally defending myself. All right, I hope you will manage to make this stingy merchant pay. Okay. We must find this eagle. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly oh, by that name. Swarm through. This is silver coin. Is your hat out of style? All right. Well, let's go back to the barracks. Come closer, good people. The cure is wide. Hello, loot. Beautiful loot. I thought they said that volcano was dormant. So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Or well, I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone. Even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now. Don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There is no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Just, just crouching, crab walking in the middle of the street. This pile of coal. There you go, buddy. Keep you moving. Oh, shit. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. 
We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Don't take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you were implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You were therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. Okay, execution it is. To my help. And death to the others. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Give me that magic. Damn it! Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Nope, nope, come here. Andiamo! Andiamo, bastardo! Oh, Siora's healing us, thank God. Definitely gonna need to keep her in the party. Have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on. I'd rather die. Great. Oh god. How are we... There we go. Ow! Bastard. The silver coin. His symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred. Back to the tavern we go. Oh, hello. More loot? Somebody will clean up the corpses later. It's not my job. Manfred? Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by certain members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty or terror? Maybe terror, both. I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name, but as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency, take this. On behalf of the Guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the City Guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, that's... that's it. No, thank you. Level six, lovely, but before we even think about leveling up, there is all right, get, I get Oh shit. Lovely, we just get ambushed.
Well, somebody's mad. Somebody's very mad. <laughs> Now, was that a murder spree or was it self-defense? <laughs> um, okay. So. Let's go get that pa uh, patent. Or patent. Oh, no. Accents make things sound weird. Here's hoping it doesn't cause too much trouble and we don't have to kill anybody for it. In here? Hello, Minister. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I need... Something? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? Mm -hmm. I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. Oh, just give You'll it to me. You understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. Uh, just, just charisma. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Indeed, I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protégé to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. <laughs> Would you like anything else? No. No, no. That'll the be all. The Goodbye, tone in her voice was like, this is incredibly boring. Shut up. Let me leave. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go have her take a nap first before we deliver the patent. I don't think we can craft anything. Can't, let's let's actually take give it a look. Oh yeah, and I, I forgot I have this because I have a different version of this game. But I'm not gonna use the warhammer because I don't particularly like using warhammers. Okay, yeah, we can't craft a goddamn thing. <laughs> All right, uh, nope. Let's go. <laughs> 17 hours. There we go. It's daylight outside. Look at that. Just a giant painting menacing you as you come down the stairs from sleeping. Alright. Okay, buddy. We got to patent. You can trade in the city now. And we can buy things from you. And sell things to you. Something terrible happened. What happened? What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. 
They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please bring him back to me. Yeah, I'll try to get him. I don't why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Oh, shit, no. Ah, on all Minawi. I'm just passing through. Yeah. Did, uh, word probably at the barracks. Yup. If I'm talking to the quartermaster, can I also tell him I was attacked outside? Just directly outside? Just a night previous? Can I? Oh my god. Hey, man, Fred. Somebody jumped me last night. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. Lovely. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything yeah, else? Yeah, you should have. You no, fucked up you. there, buddy. But, uh... All right, let's go downstairs or try to get downstairs. We'll figure it out. In in here? Ah. You, sir. Speak to me. Hello. What can I do for you? Release the prisoner. I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. Oh, shit. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there. Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? Yes, you he racist dick. Some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away. That's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom like all the rest. Anything else? Uh, no. I must leave you. Where exactly? Uh, what? Oh, in here? Be a vic be a victor? So what, do I just gotta win once and I have gone the wrong way. Ooh, hello. What's all this then? And here we are on the other side, near the tavern. You there, sir. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a campfire. Lovely. Oh, shit. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So. Are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. 
Uh, fight alongside the hunter. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Uh, I haven't done any of the running challenges, so fight. Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. Oh dear lord. One down. Um, oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, shit, that is not what I meant to do. Do I have any magic potions? Oh, no. Did I not actually drink it? He is an at like dead dead. I hope he get I hope he can be revived. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. I can concentrate on you, big boy. Um. Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to actually bind it. We go. What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Almanawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. Thank By you. what name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin, the merchant, that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Oh, he's on foot. We're not just like appearing in front of him. Oh my God, Siora. Guys, thank you. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Manawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't thank mention you. it. I also brought you back your goods. 
May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of the Gnamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Okay. Can I trade with you? Ah, on all Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. Oh, I can't actually buy things from you? That sucks. Or maybe you just need time to get set up. Okay, I get that. Alright, so what is our next objective? So, camps. Oh, nope, that's side quests. Wait. Okay, that's weird. Oh, loot. There is loot over there. Well, I guess to say that was quite an event. I actually want to travel in the daytime just in case. Well, that was quite an eventful day. A couple things got out of hand. I can just sleep right here, right? Yes. Is it daytime? Yes, it is. Oh, God, that's bright. So where are we going? Where are we going? This is to Teleme. This is to the bridge. I want to go see the bridge first, actually. So where are we going exactly? Like... Okay, so round, maybe? Right here? Hey, you two. Get set up. Ah, on all Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. Nope, okay. I wanted to buy native goods, goddammit. through here. Exploration tier for D is made up of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you'll discover campfires allow you to that allow you to rest and travel. Uh, when you reach the end of the road, the use the travel interface. Use caravans to uh, near major cities uh, for you to quickly travel from one city to another. Wait, what's this? Is this crafting materials? I think it might be. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Oh shit, am I stuck? I'm stuck. Oh my god, can I get through here? Yay. You there! Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Ten gold. Hikmet. To Hikmet. Let's go! That is the most excited let's go I've ever heard. Oh, that hurts. That was my elbows and shoulders all at once, Jesus. Okay. Oh, we're, uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, so when we return... Ladies and gentlemen, oh, no, no, go away. When we return, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to finally speak to the governor here in Hikmet and probably speak to the other one in San Mateus. So I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.